all of them passing by the, the casket of Mr. Floyd. And we talked to a bunch of people in line, and generally what we heard was that the people who have come, by and large, were not people who knew him personally, but who have come to pay their respects, who believe that this is an important moment in history and that he represents an important person in this movement. But I can do better than just telling you my own view. I can invite in a guest. This is Daryl Kelly, who is a, a musical artist from Atlanta. Yes, my name is uh, Daryl Kelly, musical artist from Atlanta. And let me ask you, Daryl, what, what brings you here? Well, I write music about injustice in America. And I wrote a song for George Floyd called Police Brutality. I think it's important for us to come together to stop brutality, police brutality and racism in our country, but around the world. I couldn't, as an artist, write about George Floyd if I didn't come out to show support for George Floyd. And that's why I'm here today. Atlanta has its own history of racial tension. Um, I think for our viewers who are largely around the world and not all here in the U.S., uh, just, just describe what it's like to be an African-American man in an urban area uh, when confronting police. Well, I actually am originally from Boston, and I can say that no matter where you come from, it can be from the north or the west, I've experienced police brutality all my life growing up with eight siblings, and it's just hard to be an African-American and you get pulled over for no reason. You don't even know if you're gonna be, you know, arrested for no reason, shot for no reason. So I always try to be very respectful. And what I don't do is give them a problem, they write me my ticket, I go about my business. I've learned in the past, if you give them a hard time, then you have a harder time for no reason. I've heard, I've heard other men say, you know, they look at George Floyd and they think, on a bad day, that, that might have been me. Did you ever feel like that? every single day because George Floyd was Ahmad. I met Ahmad was a George Floyd. So at the end of the day, it, it, racism happens every single day. And they say black lives matter. I truly believe that, but I see diversity now. The only way we're gonna stop police brutality and racism in our country is if we come together as one. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Spanish, it doesn't matter. We need to unify our country and we need to stick together and change what shouldn't happen to George Floyd or my nieces and nephews, my children, other people's children. And we have to keep a movement for the positive future of America. With tomorrow's funeral, that's really the end of the journey for George Floyd, but it's the continuation of a, of a movement. What needs to happen now? Well, what we need to do is come together in November and we need to go ahead and vote for a candidate who is going to support America's values. And we need that person to come together to make us the country that we are. Because of all the rhetoric that's happening right now, that's not going to unify our country. It's not gonna stop racism or police brutality. We need to come together in November and we need to pick someone who's gonna do the job. All right, well, that's Daryl Kelly. We want to thank you for joining thank us you. with a little perspective from one of the people who came here from substantially far away in order to pay their respects to George Floyd. And there are hundreds and hundreds more. And, of course, this continues in a day when the funeral takes place. John Hendren, thank you very much.